the Untitled here with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with our good friends, Bouncing Souls, yeah. gentlemen. They, they come to the studio more than everybody. We see them out on the road more than everybody. And here we are surrounded by memorabilia. We thought fitting that we stand in front of, well, the New, New York, York City. New York City, right here. And um, we're going to talk about the Warp Tour. We're going to talk about hanging out with bands and friends and stuff. We've talked to you guys so much. We just basically want to get stories. We're going to play a social DVD right now. And you have a story about Mike Ness. Yes, many years ago, I think it was 96, we did a bunch of dates with Social D. And we were hanging out, I guess it was about Soundcheck, and I uh, asked Mike Ness if he wanted to play pool. This is a true story. Play a pool game, get to the end. It was like one or two balls left on the table, and he scratches on the eight. And he says to me, I must have bad luck. I'm, I'm not lying, that's the truth. Said, uh, give it to me. Then he said, give it to me. <laughs> so I said, go get it. And here it is right now, Social D, bad luck. Social D, bad luck, heard one bad luck story. We have another. Yeah, we have another bad luck story with Social Distortion. That same tour we did with Social Distortion, 90, 95 or 96. Five, 96. Okay. Was the year that um, our van, the Hovelpod, caught on fire on the way to the, sh the, the last show of the tour, which was going to be in Philly. We were on the Jersey Turnpike, the Hovelpod catches on fire. We have to abandon ship and just watch it burn, which was really sad. But um, the, my point of the story is Social Distortion played that night and dedicated bad luck to us. Like, you know, this goes out to the Bouncing Souls. They couldn't make it. I guess they've got bad luck or something. Give it to me. And then he's give like, give it to me. <laughs> so we heard. Come on, get it. Like that. If you've never seen Social Distortion 1, what the hell's wrong with you? 2, go, because it's quite an experience. Changes things up every night. Just the way he does it is just, he's just a genius and a One badass. One of the best fans ever. One of the best fans ever. I've seen him. We've all seen him. I don't know how many times yeah. he's seen Social Distortion. So just go. We get a sound check for God's sake. <laughs> Don't be, stu don't be stupid. Sometimes we just go to sound check. See? Yeah. If you're lucky enough to do that, which we're not, so watch some commercials and there you go. All right. job. I know, wrangling. Tons babysitting, of babysitting, actually. Yeah, we, we all have babysitters. They have Kate, I have Brooke and Rachel. There's a lot going on here. So we're here at Bouncing Souls, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Um, we're celebrating the Warp Tour because the Warp Tour is having an exhibit at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. What did you all give to the exhibit? I put a shirt and tie in, and we have a camp shower. Yeah, our solar shower. Solar I love shower. Shower. Yeah, shower. Shower all, uh, every summer on the Warped Tour. You know? Nobody showers on the Warped Tour but us. Yeah. We shower like three shower times, like a three day times a day because we bring our own shower. Yeah, the solar shower, you know? Is that that big bag I saw it's you carrying? It's a big bag. You fill it with water. You lay it out in the sun. It gets warm. You hang it off your truck. Sometimes it gets too hot. Yeah, sometimes it's too hot. And you brush your teeth with it. You, you wash your, you know, self. So all these bands that claim like the Warped Tour is disgusting, they're just basically lazy bastards. They're just cool. Exactly. They're, they're still We've offered our, our, our solar showers to people many times. Yeah. yeah. We, fact, gave, we gave against me a solar shower, actually. We had so many, we had an extra one. We turned those oh. guys onto the solar shower. Oh, that's shower. cool. And they in turn gave you some, like, probably a bench press. Yeah, we did use their bench press. They used their weight bench all summer, as a matter of fact. All right, here's a band that just had a little tour. This is Glass Shower with Ape Dust Mill. Tons of fun, much like the Bouncing Souls. We're here at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and you know, it's standing from the New York, London kind of exhibit, we're really going to focus more on New York. But we, I've been asking all the bands here: Do you think that the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame should kind of spread it out and go more regional? Like, I mean, Jersey punk is very influential right now. There's really no DC. There's no San Francisco. Do you think that that would be a good addition to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Yeah, I think it'd be good. I well, think the boss is no doubt in here yeah. somewhere. I'll, I have definitely I haven't seen it. Yet. Yeah. Like when, you, when you go through, you think about like just the warp tour even just starting now, like and what that'll probably that that will look like in its in time. It's an entire it won't really world, be an exhibit. Broad. It'll probably just be like a wall like this, you know. Right. So as we, you know, that we're getting older, buddy. I know, isn't it weird? Yeah. Like the warp tour, 12 years, and now it's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We've been asking everybody, would you ever even think that the warp tour would be featured in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? No, and I must say that it's really cool to be a part yeah. of it. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. Good job, buddy. Good yeah. job, Lyman. Lyman. Good Full work, props buddy. to Kevin Lyman, and for yeah. basically asking props. all of us to include stuff. We, uh, we, the show has stuff in there. No way. Cool. Yeah. It's cool. What did, what did you donate? Oh, we have one of these, one of our fun mic cubes. We have here Mike Cube. Mike yeah. Cubes, yes, Mike. Did not know it was Mike called Cube. that. It's called a Mike Cube. Mike we Cube. have these in here. And um, here's a band right now that has, I think it's a jersey. This is uh, H2O with Ever Ready, some good friends of ours. So All right, good. that was uh, H2O and Ever Ready here at the Bounce of Soul. So, what's going on? You guys just had a big show, Webster Hall in New York, gold record. You guys still touring on that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're doing uh, a couple weeks in England. Oh, wow. And the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I know, how cool is that? You guys are playing. Really cool. Yep. I did the Sundance Film. Festival last weekend in the uh, Vegas Punk Rock Bowling Tournament. Oh wow! Last weekend as well. Punk Rock Bowling Tournament. I heard this. Uh, have you ever been to that? No. Oh, I can't believe it. You it's are brutal. You brutal. Good 
do for the bowling tournament. Yeah, you would. You would yeah. love it. it would we should you have out. a fuse bowling team. Well, okay. Dude, we could have matching shirts. Yeah. Wow. You, could. you really could. We have fuse. shirts, but somebody forgot them. Yeah. You have bowling I shirts? I think that was my shirt that uh, that you brought, actually. Ramiro? That was wow. Now, are there, anyway, are yeah, there, the Classic uh, Souls is a bowling team, and we okay. bowl in the Punk Rock Bowling Tournament every year. Oh, that's great. And then once in a while, we get to play it as well, because, you know, BYO Records, they do the whole thing, they put the whole thing on, and have organized this thing that has, has snowballed into this huge event, this, like, four-day-long event that, you know, there's a poker no tournament idea. involved with it now. It's been, and, like, nine years, I think, now? Yeah, for Christ's sakes. Nine years, yeah. 200 teams. It's one of those things where now that I hear about it, I'm going to hear nothing but about the... Yeah, Punk Rock Bowling Tournament. Ooh. Next year. All right. It is wild. Bowling is really just a sidebar for everything else. Yeah. 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 It's, it's like bowling, a, just bowling a is retarded the bender for most Bowling, people. and then we'll combine it with golf. We'll yeah. hit the balls with sticks. All right. Uh, we're going to end the show with a classic, as always. And today's classic, ladies and gentlemen, is Bouncing Souls. And it's a classic one because it's awesome. We actually play it whenever the hell we want. This is Bouncing Souls and Eastside Mags. We'll see you guys next time from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Steve's the Total Rock Show.